widespread chills to around minus 5 to uh, minus 18 right now across the region. Uh, today we have actually already hit our high temperature, so you know what that means. We're only uh, cooling from here. We're going to be sitting in the teens for much of today. We had those morning snow flurries, and uh, it's going to be followed by less windy conditions this afternoon, but frigid all day today. We're really going to have a hard time getting above zero for the wind chill as we head through the daytime. You can see your planner for today shows those single digit temperatures eventually getting back to the lower teens. I think by this afternoon when winds start to calm, wind chills between minus five and minus seven as you head towards this evening dinner time, uh, zero to minus two for the feels like temperature. Not great, but we'll take any warming we can get at this point, right? Uh, wind chill right now, minus six to around minus 18. This minus 18 you're seeing in Connorsville, uh, that is frostbite territory. So frostbite can happen in 30 minutes uh, if you're outside with any kind of exposed skin. So if you have to go outdoors, be sure to wear the proper layers and uh, certainly limit your time outside until the worst of these wind chills can uh, get behind us here. But most everybody looks like now below zero for that wind chill this afternoon. Because of that, uh, we're going to be looking at that wind chill advisory through the early afternoon. Uh, that includes all of our light blue counties here. And again, wind chills around minus 15 at times as we head through the duration of that advisory. Uh, so winds gusting to around 30 miles per hour right now. But as we head through the next few hours, notice a decrease from north to south here. It's still pretty breezy. Uh, winds going to feel pretty awful if you're outside at all today. Uh, but winds to around 15, 20 miles per hour. And then we're going to be looking at winds to around 10 to 15 by tonight. So that's going to help the wind chill out significantly. Uh, future cast feels like temperatures will show a decrease in the wind chill here as you head towards one o'clock this afternoon. I think at this point in the day, we're probably seeing wind chills around minus five to maybe minus 10 for most cities. Still improving from there about zero to minus seven for a lot of communities, maybe about minus 10 as you head out over southeast Indiana. So that's going to be where we end the day. Uh, and then overnight tonight, I think sitting at around nine for the overnight low, uh, we have zero to minus five for the feels like temperatures tonight. For tomorrow, Martin Luther King Day, partly sunny skies, to partly cloudy skies. We're looking at uh, chills to around minus 5 to 0 for the morning, and then we're going to be looking at 3 to 10 above by the afternoon. Actual air temperature at 21, so still feeling that Arctic air. We're also going to mix in some light snow chances. Now we're going to pick future cast up tomorrow morning. You can see that mix of cloud cover to start, and then I would say around 5, 6 o'clock, we're likely seeing some snow south of the Ohio River. Should be pretty light here. A lot of this system is actually going to miss us entirely, uh, but as you head between 9 and midnight, you can see into Tuesday morning, some scattered snow showers overtaking most of the WLWT viewing area, and I think a lot of these clearing out before sunrise on Tuesday and putting out a minor coating of snow. It looks like about a trace to an inch is what we're going to pick up from this, and our best shot at seeing an inch that's going to be south of the 71 75 split. So most of us here just getting a quick dusting because the road temperatures are below freezing. Of course, watch out for the slick spots. Watch out for some blowing snow as you head between that time period. But uh, a lot of models in agreement. This storm is going to stay way south of us here, so that would uh, the worst of it would miss us entirely. So there's some good news for you as you're heading into tomorrow. It's going to be cold, but at least we won't have to deal with the snow. Uh, your forecast for tomorrow is going to bring morning temperatures in the lower teens. Uh, so we're looking at about 10 by 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you have an MLK Day event to attend, dress warm. It's going to be cold all day. We get about 20 for the high, 20 to 21 between 3 and 4. And then for Tuesday, cut the weather impact in place. Uh, you may have some early morning slick travel, and then we're looking at very cold conditions for the rest of the day, about 15 above for the high. Slowly improving into Wednesday and Thursday. We get uh, sunshine on Wednesday, 23 degrees, and then our high on Thursday, 36. We'll have an evening chance for snow. Could be seeing a snow event here Thursday into Friday. So Friday, a weather impact day. Certainly going to uh, pin down more specifics on that storm as that develops over the coming days.